did you take hard. statistics or do you have to take statistics? I know yeah, Jayla took honors. Yes. You were forced you to were. I um, Jayla I took honors and I dropped that one last semester. It was not bad. Wait, honors I took honors intro to statistics, but speaking about honors classes, what is everybody doing for John's film class? At John Tindall. <laughs> I no no idea not at all just, not at all yeah. we could do like our favorite shows or movies I mean like they're already done though why would we do them again because we could talk about them and it would be kind of like a Seinfeld type thing like satirical almost yeah okay so ex explain to me so for me like I personally love drunk history okay which is where they get drunk and tell stories about history. So one of my favorite episodes is when they talk about Clara Barton, who founded the Red Cross, and t tell her story. It went something like like this. Clara Barton had been hearing about the battlefield needs, and so she organized it so that there was a large amount of supplies for the doctors on the field. Clara was like, dude, I'm going to bring this right to the battlefield and deliver it myself. And so she took the wagon train full of supplies to the Battle of Antietam, which was the bloodiest one-day battle in the Civil War. When she arrived, the doctor was all like, Oh my god, you brought us bandages and food and all sorts of stuff we needed! Thank you so much! You are amazing! We totally needed this! Clara was all, yeah, cool. Glad I could get this to you, but, um, like, I think I can help out on the field, too. And so she did. She was out there while bullets were whizzing past her and artillery was booming all over the place. Clara went up and she was helping this one guy who was injured on the battlefield. And so he was giving him a drink. She felt something on her sleeve. So she looked at her sleeve and saw a bullet hole. And she was like, dude, you see this? And then she realized he was dead because, well, he was shot by that bullet. And she was like, oh, okay. On to the next one. And she moved on to help others. When night came, the doctor was all like, oh, man, oh, man. I don't know what to do. We can't see to operate anymore. This is horrible. If only we had lanterns, we could save so many more soldiers because we could work through the night. Clara was like, really, dude? You think I'll bring all this stuff and not lanterns? I totally got you, Doc. With that, she swung open the barn doors, and it was like, bam, lanterns. The doc was all like, you are so amazing. Thank you. You are totally the angel of the battlefield. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Clara was like, damn right I am. Now stop thanking me. We got work to do. And so, yeah. Uh, I like it. And it's my favorite. Well, that's great and all, but for me personally, I love Jurassic Park because I really love dinosaurs. So basically how it goes out is there's this island, right? And they're like, we should do an amusement park type thing. And they're like, no, but then they go on the island anyway. So then they're like in the little Jeep going doo doo doo, doo doo doo, you know, to be... <laughs> And then the power goes out because this dude's trying to steal the things, right? So then they're in the car and these kids are there and this T-Rex is like, ah! And then they're like, oh my god! And then the dinosaur runs around and then this dude's on the toilet all of a sudden. And then this dinosaur goes and he's just like, and then he eats the dude on the toilet. And then the T-Rex chases the Jeep and has put it on the little arm so it can't catch up so that the dinosaur doesn't win. But what happens to the dinosaur? He's over. Oh! Never tell us. <laughs> so that's my favorite movie. My favorite movie.
movie is Airplane. It's a, it's a really funny movie, movie, it's comedic. And what happens is that it starts off with this guy on... Okay, it starts on an airplane, kind of like how the movie implies it's on an airplane. Yes, it's, it's an airplane. And so he, he gets off the taxi and he's chasing this girl down because she's like, I don't want to marry you, and he's like, but I love you, and she's like, you're stupid, and he's like, well, isn't that just a kicker? So he goes to get a ticket, and it's smoking, because he got the smoking section, <laughs> and he gets on the airplane, and he's, and she's a stewardess on the airplane, and she's like, I can't deal with you right now, and so she leaves, and he's sitting there, and he's telling his life story to everyone who will listen, and they're like, oh, this guy's stupid, and one guy just stabs himself in the stomach with a, with a sword, because he doesn't want to listen, and then the, they find out that fish made anyone go, uh, go, go die. No, well, not die. They're going to die if they eat the fish. And so they, they realize they get a doctor in the front, and he's like, hmm, this is not good. And so they call, they're like, does anyone know how to fly an airplane on here? And they bring him up. He's like, I don't know how to fly an airplane. And so he starts trying to fly the airplane, and everyone starts going nuts. And this one lady who was sitting there, she's like, oh my god, oh my god, I can't do this. And then a nun comes over, and she's like, oh, don't worry, sweetie, I got you, and just slaps her. <laughs> And it's all fine and dandy for that. And then they're like, oh, calm down. And so it continues forward. And she's, uh, the, the, they get to the, the plane and they're like, oh my god, he's still on the plane. And so the, the, the crowd control is just like, hey, you're going to have to take this down to the ground. And then a watermelon smacks onto the table and it's physical comedy and then it, it the whole convoluted thing happens with like the Tylenol and it's like it looks like a giant Tylenol and then they get down to the ground and everyone's safe and fine and dandy and it's a really fun movie. That was my favorite movie. I don't know. It's pretty good. Well, thank you. Um, that sounds fantastic and all, yeah, but uh, what we really should talk about oh. Game of Thrones. Oh. <laughs> Imagine a vast open field. Iridosa Kytus on that. <laughs> Liquor summative scaling method, the Liquor method, an unimensional scaling method developed by Murphy and Liquor. It's quite possibly the most popular of the three scaling approaches described in this chapter. As with Thurston's method, the Liquor model, the Liquor method, also starts with a clear definition of the construction, and then Jamie and Cersei Lannister saw Bran cross the field. However, Bran saw that. Yes. Following this reading, specific items can be selected from the final scale to be selected. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could do something like that if we had all the right equipment. Mm-hmm.